The head is very similar, eh? Very similar. The only the tail is a little longer. Yeah. I have this new mount. Well, not new. I've had the mount for a while. I just never use it because I have no reason to. For my camera. And I'm pretty stoked on it. Um, Sam and I went snowboarding today. Here we go. Sam and I went snowboarding today at Grouse. It was so much fun. Um, it was uh, at least 10 degrees Celsius up there. It was, I don't know, not a lot of people. I went down some blacks and double blacks with Sam. It's not generally the terrain I prefer. Um, just because, I don't know, because I don't usually go with anybody, so I'm not very confident in my skill level on that terrain. But, um, now that I've gone, I feel, I feel like, I feel more confident in my skill level. My legs are still very weak, but it's tons of fun. I'm just stoked to have this camera map it's like right here. It's right in my face. It's looking better. Anyways, I find that I love looking on Craigslist for stuff that I want. Or sometimes it's stuff that I don't want, but I find interesting. And I find a lot of free stuff on Craigslist that I want or need. Um, I found a desk on Craigslist. I got my bed on Craigslist. I got another bed. Like full bed, like uh, the mattress box, box spring, and all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, I, Craigslist is awesome if you know how to use it, and if you're not afraid to wait to buy something or, or get something, or you don't mind dealing with people, or if you don't care really if it's used or new. It's used or new isn't necessarily that big of a deal to me. Um, yeah, because I'm trying to be frugal, I'm trying to save my money, I'm trying to I'm trying to spend my money wisely, so I don't need to go and buy a $500 bed frame when I can buy, uh, when I can buy, or when I can get or buy the bed frame on Craigslist for cheaper or free. Anyways, um, yeah, snowboarding. I wish I could snowboard every day. Oh yeah, yeah, so what I want to talk about is that, uh, me and Sam, we went to, we watched these videos. I watched this video uh, series on YouTube called Every Third Thursday, ETT. And every third Thursday, these guys at their snowboard factory, they build a different type of snowboard. One, they took a bunch of records and it was a vinyl uh, snowboard, all made with vinyl records and stuff like that. Another one, uh, the one that we were interested in is the $100 Home Depot snowboard maybe $100 American in the United States at Home Depot. Um, we went to Home Depot thinking that we can get all the same material at Home Depot here in Canada in Vancouver and make our, our own $100 snowboards. I thought it was going to cost me about $200 to make a snowboard. If we were to buy all the materials and um, we needed a jigsaw, so that's kind of expensive. Um, the two by sixes aren't expensive for the for the jig to for the press, and then we needed a core, a top sheet, and a base. And we were gonna do the first version without uh, edges. You don't necessarily need edges. There's uh, 
snowboard company that makes uh, snowboards for jibbing and stuff like that without edges so you don't necessarily need edges especially since we're trying to make it on the cheap so we go to Home Depot they don't sell epoxy they don't sell two-part epoxy they don't sell a few different things that we need um, because of Canada's environmental protections um, environmental protection rules or whatever in the United States there they have more the rules are more lenient than they are here so they can sell two-part epoxy they can sell uh, fiberglass and fiberglass resin all in one store all at Home Depot which is great if you're trying to build stuff if you really want to um, go to one one shop and build and, and buy what you need to build stuff here it's so different um, we needed uh, for example metric um, metric tees, tees, uh, tea nuts I think they're called and they didn't have metric tea nuts <laughs> it's yeah it's all Imperial at Home Depot for the most part uh, so just things like that and then we realized it's gonna cost us probably about five hundred dollars in total for everything that we need for the core for the base for the two by fours we need to buy clamps um, yeah so it, it it's about it's it's realistically if you like using that word or if it's uh, you can manage to do it for about five hundred dollars and out of five hundred dollars you would get four boards so if you and four you and three friends are going in together to make four boards then I could see how it's a hundred dollars but in the video they do say it's about a hundred dollars in material to make a snowboard which I guess I agree with but the process is definitely about a five hundred dollar process so we got to Home Depot and then we were trying to figure out what kind of core we wanted to use um, we couldn't find the base. Well, we didn't look too hard for the base. It was going to be a, a plastic um, plastic sheet for, like, it's called Polywall in the Home Depot, um, or in the video that they got at Home Depot. And I saw something like that, and I think I saw it at Rona, not necessarily Home Depot. But anyways, um, so we're going to use Polywall. We're just going to emulate the, the video, the Every Third Thursday video. And, uh, yeah, it was going to be... I don't remember what kind of core. It was just going to be a wood core, um, one sheet wood. Um, there was laminated plywood, but we didn't want to use that because we were afraid it might delaminate. And uh, what else? Hmm. We were going to use. We we're just going to basically emulate the video. They didn't have everything we needed, I and mean, then we we're going to go and we we're just going to make a jig, um, the press to press the snowboard. And then we started realizing it's going to be effing expensive just to make that part. Especially if, if we might just make one or two snowboards. And we both, it's, it's in February, it's right after Christmas. We're trying to re-budget, trying to figure out where we can spend money. And I don't think right now, trying to make a few snowboards is a good time to spend money like that. Maybe in the summertime when we might have some money saved and we might want to start another project it might be a good idea to start thinking of making some snowboards because then we can bring them up next season to grouse and test them out and everything but yeah that's what we did today we went to home depot and then like pretty quickly we realized they don't have everything in the video they don't have everything there we'd have to go to at least three different shops and then how much it was actually going to cost us so it was an interesting experiment to go and actually look for the stuff but and he has a friend who has a who has access to a cnc machine to cut the wood properly and all that kind of stuff it was pretty cool so anyways right now i am going to where am i going i'm going to like fraser street and 30th avenue and i'm going to go pick up a free table um, it's a table with a glass top and the table has about that much space between the top and the glass top So it's like a box table and you can see into the box and I want to get it as a side table for the living room I think or maybe for my room. I'm not sure yet, but I thought it'd be kind of interesting um, Interesting because I doubt too many people have it and I think it was homemade and Yeah, I don't know. It's free. It's a little table. I could always use the table and uh, yeah, I'm not doing anything tonight. I 
It's uh, Monday, family day, Monday night, and uh, I, I don't really do much anyways. I'd probably just stay at home and watch something on Netflix or clean a little bit. Yeah, maybe hang out with my sisters later, but that's really about it. I don't, I don't know. I I don't do much. Um, like at night and stuff like that. Usually I'm working. I would rather work. To be honest, I would rather work. I would rather work today. Um, and it's like a, it's a toss up between wanting to do photography, work, and go snowboarding or do something active. And if it was, if I really could do something, I think I would play basketball every day. But my back is, it's a little bit injured and it's a very high impact sport. I guess no wording sign back, but anyways. So anyways, we're gonna go pick up the table and then after that, I believe I will have time to go to Valley Village and um, look for a few things that I want for my apartment. Um, yeah, maybe I'll show you what I find if I find something at Valley Village. There's been, I don't think there has been a time where I've underestimated what this car can carry. 49th, yeah, I'm going the right direction. Um, yeah, I've had a bed on the roof, I've had a carpet hanging out of the back of the car, um, nine foot rug. So there, there isn't much that this car cannot, um, cannot haul, for me at least. So I took the tables off, the, or the legs off the table, so it fits, but whatever, I just carry the drill, it takes a few minutes to do that. And, uh, yeah. I'm pretty stoked about it. Anyways, we're gonna go to Valley Village, it's just uh, five minutes away. Um, I love this car. This car is one of the most economical cars I could find. And I think it's definitely worth my money for now. Um, so, generally cars last about 10 years. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I think it's something that some yeah, I think it's something people should think about. If a car lasts you about 10 years, and a brand new car is say average $25,000, you're paying about $2,500 per year to be able to travel in your property wherever you want to go. Um, that's a lot of money. This car cost me $2,300. I could buy a nice. I consider this a nice used car every year at $2,500 for the next 10 years and have infinitely more infinitely more fun in my travel experience because it's a $2,500 car. I don't have to worry about scratches. I don't have to worry about too many people breaking in. I don't have to worry about so much that goes into having a brand new vehicle. And also, I've paid it off. I paid it off cash right away. And I paid my insurance cash right away. Um, the only thing I have to worry about right now in this vehicle is, or in this, or in my property, is paying for fuel and next year's insurance and upkeep, which isn't a lot of money. Fuel is not very much money in this vehicle or in this uh, in, in the smart car. Um, insurance is about a hundred dollars a month. That's, I think it's expensive. Um, but I guess that's just how it is in British Columbia. It sucks, or in the Lower Mainland at least. Outside of the Lower Mainland, it's way cheaper for a vehicle. Um, and the Yukon, I think, is like 30 bucks a month for to, to have insurance. And that's crazy. There, there are some states where you don't have to have insurance to be able to travel in your property, which I think is the best. Oh, dang, did I miss? No, I don't think I missed it. I'm on autopilot. Yeah, that was Clark. Okay, I didn't miss it. I didn't miss it. That's night, night stream. That's what it is. Coming out to Victoria right now. Um, yeah, I wish it was cheaper here. I wish it was less expensive to be able to travel how you want to travel when you want to travel. But whatever, that's the way it is in British Columbia. Until we ch we decide to change that, it won't change. So, yeah, anyways, the, I, justify it because, I justify this vehicle cost. Um, yeah, it's a $2,300 investment into my travels. For the next 10 years, that's like $230, or tw yeah, $230 per year, which is like $20 a month. Less than $20 a month for me for me to be able to travel, just buying the just buying the smart car, which is awesome. A brand new car after 10 years still costs you 
about two hundred dollars a month at the, at the end of ten years that's how much you've spent just trying to travel somewhere which is freaking expensive if you think about it two hundred dollars a month that's that's crazy but some people some people have that money to throw around I hope hopefully if I have millions and when I have millions and millions of dollars I'm still in the mindset where that's a lot of money and uh, I want to save my money and I want to be able to spend my money on other things. Um, I don't know, like going out on dates and all that kind of stuff. And if I have kids, I can put $200 a month away for their education or to buy them stuff for presents, to have get togethers with friends, a whole bunch of different things you can do with $200 a month. Okay, Bambi's getting a little anxious because he knows what he's doing, sleeping in his little sleeping bag. Hey, you? Yeah, he's anxious. Okay, let it go. 